Illegal meat from China is flooding into the U.S., and federal officials say it's never been this bad. That's right, Dave. It's a really very bad situation that we're having. And in part two of our exclusive report, 13 Action News goes inside a secure facility to see how officers are stopping these dangerous products from landing right here in Nevada and across the country. This by far is the worst that I've ever seen it. I've never seen this level of animal product interceptions ever. U.S. Customs and Border Protection says it's seeing record levels of prohibited meat coming from Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Taiwan, Korea, and especially China. Supervisor Brian Hamilton says products like pork, chicken, beef, and duck are being seized on a regular basis at the Los Angeles Long Beach Seaport. Last fiscal year, we had about a million pounds of uh, contraband intercepted. And this first quarter this fiscal year, we're roughly at a 33% increase. 13 Action News has your first look inside this undisclosed warehouse where officers are examining thousands of products. So we do work with the FDA, we work with, um, with EPA to ensure that we have their viol uh, that, that we are adhering or we are um, ensuring that their regulations are, are um, enforced. From just October to December of last year, Section Chief Laura Tapia and her team discovered more than 262,000 pounds of prohibited meat. We do have multi-level screening, so it, it is a paper review, uh, a non-intrusive inspection, and then the physical inspection. In a recent bust, officers searched through a shipment labeled all kinds of freight. So we really will open up a box and it's like, oh, surprise, look what we have here. We got slippers mixed in with sausages. I mean, that's how actually we see it. Suspicions are raised when there's no paper trail for these products. If we discover it on our own because they didn't give us the documentation and explain what was in the shipment, then we'll treat it as they're misrepresenting the shipment. The hardest part recently has been um, at times really identifying who is the owner. Hamilton is an agricultural specialist and says the concern isn't whether the meat is safe to eat. These products could be dangerous to U.S. crops and livestock. We don't know exactly what's in here other than it is pork, pork related. So, and there's various diseases um, in, uh, in Asia, in particular China. China is infected with uh, ASF. ASF stands for African Swine Fever. And um, it is a quite dangerous disease. The packaging alone could pose a risk. Thrown away and sitting in a landfill, birds can help spread potential viruses. These viruses are very virulent. It's very difficult to eliminate. And if it drops into a field, uh, an area where they may be raising cows for feed, uh, that could potentially impact that industry. That's why officers even inspect crates carrying boxes of products. Improperly treated wood and other materials could be holding hidden dangers. Here's a sample we just got. Two of my inspectors found what may be a federal noxious weed seed. And what the issue is, is that this particular weed seed could wreak havoc in our pastures where cattle are feeding on. This sample will be sent to USDA botanists for further examination. It's a never ending job to stop smugglers trying to make a profit without regard to the safety of Nevadans or anyone else across the nation. We, over the years, have gotten smarter by employing various uh, intel agencies and groups to help us improve our targeting. And we are actually seeing the benefit of, of us coming together. Yeah, they're targeting a lot of shipments, mm. as you can see there. And in case you missed part one of our exclusive coverage, you can watch it online. Head on over to our website at ktnv.com slash fake goods.